Hi, this is Dark Fox 127 and welcome to another Scrum Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use SKSE scripting in your mods. So by default, usually, depending on however you've installed SKSE, you won't really have access to the various functions that it adds in. And when you load the game, they are available because if you're installing with a mod manager and you do it the correct way where these scripts are loaded when the mod manager is loaded, whether it be Mod Organizer or Nexus Mod Manager, you don't have them loose in the data folder ready for when you're modding. So if you're like me and you do it the old fashioned way and you load the creation kit outside of a mod manager, like Mod Organizer, then you may not have access to the SKSE scripts. And that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you how to be able to create scripts using the SKSE additional functions and also make sure that you don't lose or overwrite any of the vanilla scripts. So what usually happens with SKSE is if you place all of these scripts loose in the data folder for using the creation kit, it will actually overwrite the vanilla game scripts and it can potentially mess up other mods. So I'm basically just going to show you how to temporarily be allowed to create your very own SKSE scripts, use the functions and then make sure that your Skyrim is back to how it should be with the vanilla scripts. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is head to the SKSE website, which is skse.silverlock.org. And you'll see that the latest version at the time of this video is 1.7.3. And you want to go ahead and download the archive version. Now, I'm not actually going to go ahead and show you how to install SKSE, but I imagine that the reason that you're watching this video is because you can't compile SKSE scripts because you've probably installed it what's really the recommended way, which is not using the installer. And it's basically dragging and dropping the main files into the Skyrim directory and then installing the scripts via a mod manager, like I said. So you're going to want to download the archive version, which shouldn't take long at all, and then navigate to your downloads. And I'm going to extract it with 7-zip. You might be using something else like WinRAR or Windows' default program. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you can extract it. Then you want to go in there. And like I said, all those are usually in your Skyrim main directory. I'm going to go under data. And you've got scripts here and the source. And like I said, we've got all of the scripts here which can generally overwrite the game's vanilla scripts, which we don't want because it can cause compatibility issues with other mods that might make changes to things like the actor script or things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy there. I'm just going to copy scripts, come out of there. And I've got a quick shortcut to my data folder. I mean, you should know where your data folder is if you're looking to compile SKSE scripts. And you've got scripts there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to alt-click, paste, and I'm going to let it overwrite. And that's done there. So we've got going to scripts. And it's overwritten some of the vanilla scripts. I've got a load of my other scripts in there. You can ignore those. It's also done the source. And what that means now is we can go in the creation kit. We can go ahead and create a script which uses SKSE functions, which I'll show you in a moment. But before we do that, I'll quickly mention how you'll be able to revert back to the vanilla scripts and pretty much wipe out any sign of SKSE scripts. So the way that you do that is luckily since the latest update to the creation kit, which I thought was a bit of a, an issue, but turns out to be quite useful, is you might well find that in the data folder, you have a scripts.raw. Now what this did originally was it seemed to mess up the script. So when you do the installation, which is covered in my latest installation video, which you'll see on screen now, you have to extract all of these scripts in the scripts raw here to get your scripts to work. And what this means is this is actually now a useful backup for if we mess up our vanilla scripts. So once you've gone ahead and compiled the scripts that you want, it's recommended that you will just extract this and let it overwrite the scripts that you've now just changed from vanilla to SKSE and that should put your scripts back in order. So what I'll do now is I'll just quickly go into the creation kit and I'll show you how I'm going to just quickly create a nice simple little script using a simple SKSE function. Okay so for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to do something that makes pretty much absolutely no sense but I'm going to put a button in the middle of Riverwood here and when you activate this button, it's going to simply save the game under a very specific name. So if I double click on this button and I've gone along to scripts and I've added myself a script here. So DF127 script button save. 
and on activate it game dot save game test save now this is an skse function so this isn't a function that's available with the vanilla papyrus scripting the closest that we get is to request save but what this does in addition is it allows you to specify a name so in this case it's just test save so game dot save game test save and when i hit save there it compiles but if you were to do that when you haven't got the SKSC script sort of overriding the vanilla loose in the data folder, it's not going to work. Now, before people say, how do I get all this to work in Mod Organizer? I'm running the Creation Kit through Mod Organizer. It should be absolutely fine because if you've got SKSC running through Mod Organizer, the script should be there and available and you haven't got a problem with this. So this is for people that are doing things like the old fashioned way, like I said earlier, doing it like loose in the data folder. But that should then compile. And like I say, all you would then do is you go back to your data folder, extract the scripts raw, and it should overwrite back to vanilla. And then this wouldn't work again. It would throw up an error because the SKSE scripts aren't available. But that's how you do it. That's how you're able to now use SKSE scripts. You just need them loose in the data folder. Make sure that the rest of SKSE is installed in the main Skyrim directory. Now, what I will say is there are links on the creation kit wiki i'll leave the links in the description below these are to the skc functions all the additional cool stuff that we can now do in papyrus thanks to skc uh, which is skyrim script extender so that's exactly what it says on the tin it's extending the scripting to allow us to do new stuff and there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with papyrus scripting as well and that's the one that i've used here so save game and it usually says when you're looking through the list of different functions for Papyrus, it'll say SKSE member. So you'll know that you're going to need this method uh, if you're unable to uh, compile SKSE scripts. And it's, it's really as simple as that. And that is it for this Creation Kit tutorial video. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section below. And if you do want to know the basics on Papyrus scripting, so you're not quite at all the, the kind of advanced level yet, then you can go ahead and check out my scripting series as he's going to be on screen now. I am, of course, on social media. You can follow me on Facebook, which is where I post most of my stuff. I'm on Twitter, Google+, Plus, all that good stuff as well. But I don't generally use it that actively. A lot of that's kind of automated. But you can also follow me on my Steam group as well where you'll get notifications of when I'm doing things like Twitch streaming, which is something I'm doing quite regular now, especially with the creation of Carantia Tower Reborn. And of course, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.